Welcome back. We're looking at sweet treats in the kitchen today. So grab your notebooks. You'll definitely want to recreate these in time for tomorrow night. Yeah, Shane Smith joins us this morning for some uh, Halloween sweet treats, savory, spooky things. What have you got for us? All of the puns. Uh, so basically what we're going to do today, we're doing two different uh, kind of Halloween treats. The first batch we're doing our lovely witch finger biscuits. So, um, wait, wait, which finger? Which finger? Oh, which? which finger? That's my pronunciation now. Never get tired of these puns. Uh, <laughs> well, we do. <laughs> <laughs> so basically a very simple uh, biscuit mix and we're going to flavour it with some peppermint just to kind of obviously tie in. We're going to colour it green as well. So Great, we that's good I didn't bring my mixer today because it normally blocks off. I right. you here, so oh, I'll yes. my hand. Okay. Just, so I was Elbow grease today. Good Elbow grease, yeah. So I've started already. Um, we have just mm -hmm. butter in here and icing sugar. Okay. Um, so next we're going to add in some of the um, peppermint. It's just beautiful. Oh, that's it's really lovely. fresh, yeah. So it's the oh, peppermint flavour. Like mouthwash. Flavor. Yeah, um, exactly like mouthwash, yeah, exactly. Can you use that's, mouthwash as well? You can totally use mouthwash. Just any normal brand of mouthwash. You're going to be giving these to other there. people's kids, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you can mouthwash. But this would be great fun to do with the kids. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> and this is the whole the whole idea behind it again. They look really visual, but they're actually really easy to make. So yeah. hopefully I'll show that to you as well. Yeah, they're, they're, they're nice. <laughs> they are your voice yeah. breaks. <laughs> they are, they are. The peppermint's obvious. So, I'm putting in green food paste, okay? okay? So, you can buy the green liquid. What I would say is you don't get as an intense of a colour with no, that No, you don't. I've used it before. Yeah, it's, it's sort of a sludgy green. Exactly. It's just not that nice. So, if you want to go for the real intense green, I would be recommending the, the paste. Now, this is only a couple of euro as well. Right. Now, in saying that, if you're not too keen on putting food colouring into biscuits that you're giving kids and stuff, you don't have to. You can leave these plain. So, you can have kind of like a, a nudie kind of coloured finger as well. So, again, I'm and, just adding this. Those the same sort of places that you get the colouring or is oh, it you know, so you, you kind, of? kind of be going to more of a, of a baking shop yeah. for this one here. And okay, again, so the colouring's fine. Colouring's okay. Yeah. So you can see here you're just going to get a real... Rich colour. Yeah. Real, exactly. Where to, to add that amount of green liquid, you, your, your mix is going to be completely wet as well. Right. So um, in here then we have, actually I might as well add the egg in, we'll have a crack and ready to go. So we're adding our egg in here as well. And we're just going to mix this one in. So the more, obviously, you make sure that you get all the colour mixed in, obviously the more intense it's going to be. Now it looks extremely green here now at the moment, but by the time you add your flour in, yeah. then you bake it in the oven, it loses a little bit of colour as well. So obviously don't be afraid that you've put too much of that in. You can really smell the peppermint too. Again, if you're not a peppermint fan, you can put in whatever flavours you want. Vanilla There's no colour essence. off the peppermint though, is there? No, that's, that's, that's completely neutral. But again, as I said, if you, if you prefer vanilla essence, go with vanilla instead. If you want to put in a bit of lemon zest, it's completely up to you. But I think the, the peppermint ties in really nicely with the... Um, with the green colour. So in here then we've just got our plain flour, it's been saved, and some baking powder, so just a tiny bit in there for the, the raising agent. So they yeah. will spread a little bit in the oven. Okay. So obviously when you're rolling them now, we give them a little bit of space. Yeah, it's probably quite difficult to shape them, is it? The, the dough actually, again, I'll be chilling it down, so I'm going to move on to this. So you Basically, you keep mixing all of this here okay. until it comes together and it forms a nice ball. So there's obviously all the flour is incorporated again. Because it's biscuits, you don't want to be too afraid about overmixing it as well. Do you know what I mean? You're not looking for a really light. Yeah. I think the kids are going to comment if your biscuits are a little bit no, they're they're gonna as well. Too terrified. Yeah, exactly. So it almost tastes like a witch's finger. You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, what we have here Not then me. is the dough, which we have um, <coughs> rolled. This that. one, that's, the, that's what yeah. you're looking for. This has been chilled, so it's better. It's easier to work with when you are um, you're working with a chilled dough. So how long in the fridge then? I'd be giving that like two hours. Okay. Just to kind of just to shock it down. Um, I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the way so we can see what's going on. Um, again, it's completely up to yourself the sizes. You kind of go normally. 20 grams if you want to be precise. If not, if you're doing with the kids, just remember, they don't have to be unique in size. Witch's fingers, they're all, you know, it's completely up to up to yourself, basically. Okay. So you're taking a little bit off the um, the dough. We try and help, do you want to grab Absolutely. Them? Witch finger. Oh, so, sorry. <laughs> rolling it. <laughs> so we're going to so roll the finger. Roll them, roll them like yeah, I kind of start yeah. with my hands first, just to kind of get the, get the yeah. initial shape. <laughs> so when you roll it, <coughs> and then finish it off on the table. So again, as I said, keep in mind that this will spread in the oven. It does. It yeah. spreads now. Oh, that's spreading it's now. Like a worm as like more like a nice long, yeah, yeah, hag, hag, hag finger yeah, yeah, yeah. sort of effort. So once, do, you the do you want the flour on it? Or is that that's quite a thick finger. That's more like a thumb, I think. Right, but we have this one here, lovely again. Yeah. Um, we're taking for the obviously for the visuals. We're going to take an almond again, skin off, skin on, or skin off. It's completely up to yourself. But I like the skin on, and we're just going to literally push the almond in to the end of the cookie, so it gives that appearance of ah, uh, nail. That's so clever. This guy. I have no social life, I have too much to think about sitting at home here. So basically then what we're taking is the back of the knife, so make sure you don't use obviously the sharper edge, and you're just making, squeeze it in the middle to kind of give a little bit of an indent for a knuckle. And again, you're just kind of giving that a little, I'll do yours for you. This is art, Shane, well done. <laughs> 
So again, just kind of giving a little indent to the back of the knife. So we pop them in the oven for how long? They go into the oven for about, again, 10 minutes. But the whole point is you don't, this is actually cool, I had this in earlier, you don't want them to take colour, so you basically you want to be baking them at about 160 for about 10 minutes. But again, you can switch the oven off, dry them out. Um, as you can see here, they hold up and then they'll come off. That's perfect, that's what we want. <laughs> that's okay. that, that was all, that's probably Bring up your cauldron with the fingers. That yes, you we have them here. So we're basically, as you can see here, a nice little bit of jam. So you get the nails to actually stick by. Exactly, you put the... Roof. A little bit of jam in there. Curdling jam. And then you just press the nail back in. So then they pop on in there. So obviously the more jam you put in, the nail just pops straight off. So again, just a little bit of. I think this any is child to receive them in a trick or treat yeah, basket is so so thrilled. Exactly, and again, they're really visual. Yeah, and it's you feel like you've accomplished something. Yeah, exactly. I think the whole aspect with the kids as well, they don't have to be perfect. Now, these I kind of rolled out myself, but if they're uh, ones a little bit bigger ones, again, for baking, just keep an eye on it if you see that some of them are a little bit bigger than mine. Straight edible. in. <laughs> straight in. <laughs> You're going to put back a more ghoulish <laughs> Yes, we're gorgeous cake eyeballs later oh, on. Oh, lovely.